Alright guys, today I am sweating puddles, but I'm still gonna show you guys my favorite Steam game of all time. It's a Don't Starve with the Reign of Giants DLC. So I mentioned it in the last video for the chorus, so I decided to... Holy crap, got a lot of games going. Uh, let's delete this one. This is only on day one, and we'll start a new one with Wilson, who's the default character. Uh, fun fact, each character has his own instrument. I think Wilson's the clarinet, but I'm not sure. My favorite character is like the cello or something. I don't know instruments very well, I'm sorry. <laughs> if they're not in a rock band, don't know them very well. What does he have in his hand? I always wonder that. All right, so. I wake up in a randomly generated forest, so game's different every time. I can pick those flowers if I want, but I don't want to. Uh, it improves your sanity, but it's super early in the game. Every, all your stats start with full, so I don't really need to. Carrots are good. Uh, twigs are important for building tools. Grass is important for building, like, pretty much everything. Alright, uh, I got some flint so I can make an axe. Chop down this tree so I can have wood to make a fire at night. Because you do not want to be stuck without fire at night, believe me. Alright. Once I get a shovel, I need a science machine first. Because apparently shovel is too complicated. But axe is fine. Then I can dig up that thing, that uh, stump and get an extra piece of wood. Alright. So just kind of keep... Basically all you want to do is collect stuff. And that noise that you hear every time is like new recipes becoming available when I have the resources. Uh, this is grasslands. Rabbits are too fast to catch. They'll just run away from you. Ooh, I almost got him though. Damn. Well, anyway. As soon as I get some more flint, I can chop or mine that those rocks here. I should, I should probably stay in this forest biome. All the different environments are called biomes. Um, so I can get some flint. Each biome has like different resources and flint is on the, I think it's called some sort of forest biome. And this darker one's called like the wood, woodland biome, because it's mostly trees. But it does have flint sometimes, so we can go this way. But I don't see a whole lot of anything. Oh, oh. This is rocky terrain. <gasps> Poop. Manure means that there are uh, beefalo nearby. Good, yes. Poop's like one of the most important resources in the game. It helps you make um, farm plots, and then it helps you like fertilize plants that you dig up and transport, um, like berry bushes, basically. Usually what I do is like dig up a bunch of berry bushes. Sweet. Oh man, finding beefalo this early is pretty lucky. Just pick up as much as I can. Although I can't make a, an advanced farm plot yet. I can make a regular one, I think. No, I can't. I need a science machine. Baking a science machine is one of the most important things. Holy crap. What is that? No, running. Clockwork Knights. Not good for my health, man. That is what is called a set piece, which is like a uh, bunch of not so randomly arranged items. There's probably something really good over there, but I don't feel like fighting, because I just woke up in a mysterious forest. I don't know what's going on, so I'm not going to take any risks. The beefalo are cool, but you don't want to camp too close to them, because they do have a mating season where they'll attack anything that moves. Much like my ex. But um, Anyway. Let's go this way. It's probably going to be better for finding flint. Or not. Or it'll be another dead end. Oh, I can go around. Okay, cool. You actually walk faster when you're on these like little road trail things. Whee. But it doesn't really help that much if there's nothing nearby that's helpful. Oh. Pigs. Pigs are useful. If you feed them meat, they'll follow you around and do what you do. So they'll attack things for you, and they'll help you chop down trees. Very friendly. 
but also can turn deadly. Oh, another bee below. If you push spacebar near something, it'll perform the like, most readily available action. And it's really useful for not accidentally attacking beefalo because then they'll turn instantly uh, angry at you. Just a little bit. And then they'll all attack you, and then you'll inevitably die. Because if this game is about something, it's not about starving. It's about getting attacked by animals that want to kill you. Like these guys, for instance. Monster meat, run! Ah! <laughs> trees. If you attack one, they'll all, like, follow you. But, if you hit them, you stun them, so... Shit, there was more. I thought it was safe. You're never safe. First rule of don't starve, you're never safe. Gold. If I had a pickaxe, I could totally mine that. Apparently, this game hates me. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need two. Two flint to make a pickaxe. Does that make sense? Well, at least I'll know where all the gold is when I get the pickaxe. I need a gold to make a science machine, I think. I hear scary noises. I should probably chop a tree down. But I like living on the edge. And I will camp next to these beefalo. Because they're just so cute. And they have manure. Chopping is the least amazing part of Don't Starve. Alright. Oops, wrong button. Tab opens your open no caps lock opens that and you can if you don't have a mouse select from there but having a mouse is way easier in this game than not so oh I should probably make a fire or I'm going to die the mantra of don't starve all right so always cook food before you eat it gives you more stat boosts sometimes health stat boosts aren't really that much of an issue right now because I haven't been attacked by anything, miraculously. Oh, um, yeah. Did I say don't eat monster meat unless you put it in a crock pot? And then only put one in. So I'm going to save this monster meat. These green, uh, green caps, they'll, um, improve my sanity when I cook them and eat them, but they're pretty much the only useful mushroom. All the other ones try and kill you, unless you put them in a crock pot once more. Crockpot's super useful. Anyway, that's how to survive day one of Don't Starve. So next time I'll show you how to make like an actual base, if I could ever find any resources that will help me do that. So I'll f find some flint, and then I will show you guys how to make a base. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later.